What's up, aviation guys? Welcome to the channel. My name's Charles. Today, I want to talk to you about what went into the decision making and why we settled on the Cirrus SR22. We looked at a number of planes, narrowed it down to two, and then decided on the Cirrus ultimately. So I'm going to turn the camera around and talk you through what went into our decision making process. All right, guys. So we ultimately bought a 2006 Cirrus SR22. And during the process of narrowing down our options of what we wanted, the first thing you have to do when you're, when you're gonna buy an aircraft is determine your mission. What are you gonna do with the plane? What are you gonna use it for? How far are you gonna go? How many people? What kind of load? How much luggage do you need to take? That kind of stuff. So for this purchase, we basically wanted some speed. We have a Cessna 172, we had a Cherokee 180. We wanted something faster. For the most part, I have businesses in multiple cities and I drive a whole lot. So I wanted to be able to take myself, possibly my wife with me on vacation, you know, two of us, um, and we wanted to get there fast and safe. So the Cirrus, the first thing that I like about this plane is it has a parachute. And I can tell you that we looked at a 206 turbo, Cessna 206 turbo, a Corvallis 400, and the Cirrus SR22. And what we decided was resale value, safety and perception and that's why we landed on this the 206 i really liked it because the capacity you can carry six passengers and basically all the bags that you want the corvallis the reason i liked it was it can withstand 25 g's it is a really sturdy plane. It's a little bit faster than the Cirrus SR22, but not much. They're all pretty comparable in price. And ultimately what we decided was Cirrus is the most popular general aviation plane on the market today. Not only did we have a larger selection of Cirrus than we had for the Corvallis, it's also known as the Cessna 400. But at the same time, we knew we like flipping planes, so we wouldn't want to have this thing forever. How can we resell it? How fast can we resell it? What's the market like? And of course, Cirrus's trade hands all the time. So that was a big determining factor. And then lastly, because my wife isn't super comfortable flying in an airplane, the parachute was, was ultimately the deciding factor. Because of that, my wife is way more comfortable with me taking my kids flying or her in the airplane. And so that's why the Cirrus SR22 won out because it has a full parachute for the entire airplane. It's rocket propelled, and I'll show you a quick video of how this deployed. But that was ultimately the deciding factor. So the availability or the, of the choice of planes, being able to sell it quickly and safety, the parachute. So the other thing that you really have to keep in mind when you're buying an aircraft is parts availability. Airplanes break. So the availability of parts in an airplane that's still in production is also a, a huge determining factor. I hope this helped you guys. This is how we decided on the Cirrus SR22. It is an amazing plane. I love flying it. And I encourage you to do the same. Get one. They're starting to become trainers around the country so you can find them and get familiar with them and lease them out before you purchase. Um, just an amazing machine. If you like this channel, please subscribe, like, share, 
put in the comments anything that you would like me to review in another video. This video is the result of someone asking me why I chose the Cirrus SR22 over other planes. Thanks for watching.